So this is table 4-5. We're going to go over the os coxa, the pelvic girdle. So the os coxa as a whole is this whole section. You see on the um, full bone model, you've got two os coxa that are connected to each other. The os coxa is made up of three separate bones. So this green tape is gonna help us distinguish between which bone. We've got this top bone, this is our ilium. Then we have this bone, this is going to be most um, posterior and that's our ischium. And then this front bone, most anterior, is our pubis. So the three bones together and they're fused and that makes up the os coxa. So the term specifically for the os coxa as a whole is our acetabulum and that is right here. The acetabulum is where the femur is going to connect. It's a ball and socket joint and this is a really good example because it really does look like a ball could fit in there. And then we have our obturator foramen. That's this big hole right here. You can see that this hole is made up of all three of the bones. So if we just took one of them separate, we wouldn't have our obturator foramen. So we're gonna go over the ilium first. That's this top part. The iliac crest is right here. This is typically what you're going to feel when you are feeling for your hip bone. Um, just that pointed part. Then we have our spines, and there are four spines on the ilium. So we're gonna go over each one, and it's a little bit wordy, but it'd be really good for you to repeat it out loud several times, just so you don't get mixed up. These are all directional as well. So starting from right here, we have our anterior superior iliac spine. So it's anterior, um, it's superior, this is the inferior one, this is the superior one. It's on the ilium, so iliac, and it's a spine, it's pointed. This one is the anterior inferior iliac spine. And then we're going to go to the other side. So we've got right here, this is a posterior superior iliac spine. And just underneath is the posterior inferior iliac spine. So again, anterior superior iliac spine, anterior inferior iliac spine, posterior superior iliac spine, and posterior inferior iliac spine. They're kind of a mouthful, so just practice it for a little bit. Then we have our greater sciatic notch. That is right here. This big notch that you can just put your, put your hand in right there. The iliac fossa is this smooth part right there. It's just a fossa, that little divot. And then we have our auricular surface. So remember, our auricle means ear. So the auricular surface is right there, just that smooth section. And it kind of wraps, so it kind of does it your shape, but it kind of comes down here. It's not this whole entire thing. That's really what you should pay attention to. It's just this little ear smooth part on that rough spot. Next, we're going to go over the ischium bone. So this is going to be posterior. If you look at the difference between the pubis and the ischium, the pubis has this pointed section and the ischium has this rounded part. So if you think, if you're sitting on the ground, what you would want to rock on, a pointed section or smooth, that's how you can help determine what is posterior and um, anterior. So with our ischium, we've got the body. Again, another body term, so make sure you parent it to the ischium, but the body is just that main part right there. Then we have the ischial spine, that is right here. So it's just below the, um, the posterior inferior iliac spine. 
you've got this ischial spine. Then we have our lesser sciatic notch, and that's right here. So just like how we went over, this is our greater sciatic notch. This is a lesser sciatic notch because it's smaller. Then we have the ramus or the ischial ramus, and that is right here. So the ramus is a projection. And then we have the ischial tuberosity. So that is this part right here. Um, that's where more muscles are going to attach. And there's not a whole lot of, this one has a little bit more of the um, holes to make up the tuberosity, but just that rough edge. Next we have our pubis, which is the most anterior of the os coxa. Again, we have the body, that's right there. And then we have the pubic tubercle, which is this bump right there. We have a superior pubic ramus and inferior pubic ramus. So this one would be the superior pubic ramus, and this is the inferior pubic ramus. Make sure you distinguish the difference that the ischium only has one ramus or rami, but the pubis has the superior and the inferior. So when they come together in the body, the two pubis bones, they attach right there in the pubic symphysis. And this, um, just as a reference, this is what it looks like. And then the acetabulum, that's where your femur is going to connect. So you can see that the acetabulum needs to be pointed laterally so that your femur can connect and you can um, be articulated.